Looks like I was too late yet again. There, there's a... Uh? Hmm. Wait a minute. Since the flower is the only thing that survived. His presence. Well, we meet again, Rifle. Hmm? Oh. You. I'm assuming that you are the one responsible for hiding this destruction. <laughs> I might. <laughs> so, if it matters to you, probably not. Don't be pulling this on me, there. It's already bad enough that you exist when you shouldn't be, when you should have already been dead a long time ago. Ah. Oh. Cry me a rip. <laughs> well, apparently with the way that you keep on blasting everything, guess you don't mind that everyone dies before you, including the one you care about. Mm. No, she won't die. I already have plans for that. Are you this sure This world is that? already dying anyway. It's a mercy at this point. Well, still... All I have to do is bring you back to the Ark. Well, still, I've been noticing you causing quite a lot of trouble as of late. Especially with the, mi with the missing Darkling. Pretty much popping up out of nowhere whenever... Whenever you are not, you are not summoned. And on top of it, too... Pretty, mu pretty much destroying what's technically maybe your supposed female half. Oh. Am I? Well, if I'm destroying that, then well, that's not my fault. Hmm. Well, all I can I say- I know where I want, and I go where I please. Well- There's nobody who can tell me where to go, and I will choose where I want to go. <laughs> then maybe you don't mind telling me where the Darkling is. Oh, I've already told them many times before. I'll say it again. I sent him back to his father, where he belongs. <laughs> and looks like you're you're sticking to that story. Well, it's not that's... exactly a story. It's more of the truth. <laughs> I only lie when I need to. I don't need to lie. Then, I have another question. What's your end game in regards to capturing the Darkling and sending him back to his home, his father? It's called a simple trade-off. You bring a lost child to a parent and they reward you. <laughs> in return for giving the Darkling back to, well, my brother, back to father, I got rewarded the Dust Crystal. That's all I needed. Mm-hmm. So, I guess you don't mind destroying your niece, destroying a few other hearts as well, and possibly, nope. and possibly putting the whole multiverse into an imbalance to where, ever, where pretty much the whole multiverse will suffocate. <laughs> oh, please. It's not really gonna suffocate much. He's not even from this timeline. He's from my own. He's just hiding somewhere, so he doesn't get caught by father and using everyone else as a shield. Mm-hmm. It's kind of strange. Especially since technically he was being a shield before you decide to kidnap him. <laughs> it's ironic, really. He's hiding in your dimension. Claiming himself to be part of that dimension. Or but from another. Whoever said he was from my dimension, or that he was hiding in my dimension. I never said. I never said in your dimension. 
could have sworn not I heard Not your dimension that. particular. <laughs> well, not your dimension particular. But from another's dimension. He does try to say that he's from this one timeline. But not exactly our own. He's caused quite a lot of anomalies, just being in a different place he's not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. For far too long. It's ironic how you haven't picked up the many lies that he's told you. Oh, I'm aware he's of the lies. Many of the others. I'm aware of the lies. However, he hasn't told me specifically. Because he's been telling everybody else these lies, but you know what? I do believe that, just like you, he only lied to make sure that everyone's protected. Unless it benefits him. But, as for the family he has, apparently he seems to enjoy destroying it. And on top of it too, seems like you're fine with seeing the one you care about die. Because that's what's, what will happen. Oh, I don't care about any of that family. The only one I really cared about is... The, the only one I really care about is Noella. And she's not even part of my timeline at all. In fact, she doesn't even have a timeline. <laughs> well, all I can say is... You better keep her close, because... <laughs> I do have a warning for you, Rifle. Oh. Indulge me. Let's just say... If you cross the wrong people... They'll find out about Noella. Oh. And you may yes, not. They do. And you'll ne and you may not see her again. Oh, trust me. I'm sure they won't lay hands on her. <laughs> then you better keep her close, cause you turn you turn away, even for a moment, she will disappear. <laughs> And if you're not careful or I've strong enough... I've already had to deal with something like that before. <laughs> Trust you... me, you don't know how strong she is. <laughs> well, then you underestimate everybody else that you've made enemies of. And then you underestimate me. I don't need to. I'm pretty sure your magical voodoo powers will do you any good. You should probably know exactly what you're staring at. I know what I'm staring at. I'm staring at Rifle. A man <laughs> fused with someone else just to stay alive. I will admit, you confused me for a while. Because when the destruction of this happened, I thought I sensed an EXC here, but no. You're not even supposed to be alive, but then again, you are. You're just another undead fused with a being. Well, here's where you're wrong. I'm not just fused with any being. You know. <laughs> I'm fused with the demon of chaos energy. The greater demon of chaos energy. An advocate to the god themselves. I see. Are you really thinking of underestimating me, when I could probably break you in five different ways? Probably, actually, no, 540 different ways, without even lifting a finger. <laughs> you keep saying you would break me, yet how can you break something that's already broken? Well, you've threatened me, and I gave you the same answer. You can kill what's already been dead. You just have to find a different tactic than what you do when somebody's alive. All you have to do is shadow their, well, you can shadow their, pers their soul, per se. Nothing can live without a soul. <laughs> Tell that to the EXCs, or at least the majority of them. Oh, they still have a soul. 
is not the one that you count as the soul. Exactly. You destroy that, then what are they? <laughs> They're puppets. That's all they will be without a soul. <laughs> Kill the puppet master? Nobody's alive. Let the puppet monster run free, and everybody dangles. <laughs> exactly. As I know as exactly how to kill all of you. I just <laughs> don't need to because you don't benefit me in your destruction, so I won't do so. I'll only destroy you if you get in my way. <laughs> well, and here's another... Here's some word of advice, or at least... Something for you to know. If you do happen to run into the Puppet Master, feel free to kill him. Because I have a feeling he may be the one to get in your way. Oh. Please. Why would he get in my way? He proclaims I'm just himself... doing... Oh. Go on. He... Indulge me. He proclaims himself as God. He believes that he should rule the whole multiverse. The planet that he was originally from, the universe, he already destroyed it. He's trying to go through the rest of the multiverse, including another, including the other universe that your brother was hiding in. Apparently he's failing miserably, but if for some strange reason, if by that 1% chance that he's able to succeed, you best keep an eye out, for he may find you useful. Ah, uh, and if he finds me useful, I could probably just use him like I used father. It's very easy to manipulate that big oaf. Honestly, it's kind of a dumbass. <laughs> All I had to do was give him my brother and that he gave him the dust crystal. He doesn't even know that I could kill him anytime I want. Which I am planning to do eventually. Just not at this moment. I see. Honestly, I could use this army. Not as an actual army, per se. But, there'll be an interesting distraction. Keep them distracted while I destroy the rest of the timeline once I get the two other crystals and get my true form. I see. And what is your true form exactly? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> well... Have you heard of something called Project Calamity? Project Calamity, you say? Yes. A being with an unlimited amount of power for a very short power of time. I see now. Well? Somebody higher than the gods. Only for a limited time. And only for one purpose. Covered with hate, rage, and a pure intent on destruction. Something higher than the god of destruction is alone and the angels themselves. That is Project Calamity, and that is what I am. Now, who do you see me as? A failed experiment. <laughs> failed experiment, you say? You say oh, that, please. You say that you want to reach that point. But what will happen to Noella after that? Well... Once I destroy this timeline and destroy my world... When I destroy my timeline and my worlds completely... With the rest of the power that I have, I will remake something new. A new world. A world of better. One where there's not backstabbers, hatred... Honestly, would be a poor man's dream. No poverty, no war, no destruction. 
just calm and quiet, peaceful. That is where she'll be, in a new world, a better era, a better place. A place that Maria and me dreamed of for a long time, before she was taken from me. And their minions that took her away from me, tortured me and gloated for it. So you're just heavily misguided. Hmm. I understand your methods, your goal. Honestly, that's the same goal that I have. A world of peace, calm, no more wars, no more violence, no more betrayal. Whether or not people see me as the bad guy, that doesn't matter to me. What matters is that I get my job done. Hmm. Sometimes to do some good, you've got to be proclaimed as the bad guy, no matter what. Sometimes. Whether some lives are sacrificed, or some lives are spared. Sometimes there's no such thing as a good guy or a bad guy, nowadays. Though... Hmm. I will admit, although I heavily disagree upon your plans, especially destroying timelines, Planets, universes, I can understand why you want oh, your, why you want your goal to become what you want. This timeline won't be missed. My timeline won't be missed at all, nor will my planet. It's not even supposed to exist in the first place. The planet itself is a whole clone on its own created by a god and their want to have everything that they used to have in front of them because they made a simple mistake and now all their memories and everything that they knew is now cloned. I'm not even an actual shadow. I am of that world, but even then, the world itself is a clone. I'm a clone. Everyone else is a clone. Even the Eclipse you know it's the clone. Well, I will explain why I felt such a large difference between your eclipse and other eclipses in the multiverse. <laughs> Our energies are all mixed up. Our genetics are all mixed up as well. If the god didn't know what the person appeared in the fourth wall, and how they looked, they made a whole different form to the character. I'm sure you've caught that aware of by now, looking at how Mavros looks compared to his son. So I used to not know this information. I only learned recently when I merged with Noor. Noor has been around as long as the god himself. He also, perhaps, is possibly my father. Well, not even possibly. He is my father. What am I talking about? Hmm. Well then. I can be able to understand. They're destroying this time. Destroying this world won't even cause an issue in the timeline itself. In fact, it's probably taking a burden off. Every day, this world, this timeline, generates much more timelines and different variants and different iterations than any other planet has ever done. I think it'd be less of a chore and more of a, and more of a thank you. Whether or not you accept it or not, deep inside you know that honestly, I'm just taking a burden off of your chest. Well, for saving my own goals as well. Well, 
Well, just a word of advice. You must have failed experiment, were you know? Still a word of advice to you. If you do plan on reaching your goal, best be careful who you make enemies with, or who you run into. Oh, please. You may, you may be difficult to kill. You're still killable, though. <laughs> if I get killed in the end, so be it. It just really shows the true nature of this world, as long as many others. <laughs> Though still, if you knew the true nature of what, of what at least this timeline is, maybe you could instead, rather instead of destroy it, don't think about destruction, but rather think about rebuilding. Oh. The only way to rebuild this hunk of hell is to destroy it and rebuild it again from scratch. And a little reminder too, not everyone is disposable all because you believe so. Remember that. Oh, trust me. I know. That's why I keep the ones that are disposable. Well, I keep the ones that are disposable a distance. And I keep the ones that aren't disposable close. So far, there's only one. Isn't there? Or do you have others that are close no. to you? Well, I do have a son, well, multiple children. Mm -hmm. Then at least think like a parent instead of thinking like a god. Honestly. In the end, I'm still thinking like a parent. I am remake a whole new world, it'll be better for them to live in. Hmm. They wouldn't want to be raised in a hellhole. Well, make sure that hellhole does not expand. Otherwise... You may be just like some of the gods from mythologies, where the children turn against their father. Hmm. Oh, please. Shade would never turn against me, and neither would my dark arms. I Wait. raised them better. Well, there's still... I know there's still one that you've never met. Oh? Well, who would that be? Like I would, would tell that you. Be? Hmm. Holding out on me, are you? <laughs> you, s you seem to enjoy holding back on others. Let's see how you feel. Oh. Once you find out that child disagrees with you and is nothing like you. Hmm. I this. Well, looks like my business here is done, Rifle. Until we meet again, if we ever meet again. Finally. Mm. All right. Dang, the only the only things that lived with the goddamn flowers. Uh, Fuck these flowers in particular. <laughs> they survived my blast. <laughs> well, I actually just hit recording here, so... Yep, fuck those flowers. Rip. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be a blooper. Yep. Blooper! <laughs> Fuck these flowers. They survived my blast. How dare you survive my oblivion, Kenneth? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. All righty.
so okay, so we'll probably start off where um where lavender.exe had just appeared and Rifle was actually looking for any survivors, and the only survivors are the flowers. And then we'll go from there. Uh, yes. The only survivors plants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, the actual lavender was right say, in regards to making sure that plants are taken care of because they become an anomaly the way it's going to take over the world. I mean, what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you ready?